Oh, bloody hell. Adam? Yeah, yeah, what? Adam? Huh? Morning, yes. Hello. Um, you what, don't have what, to know anything about this, do you? What's what's happened? Let's see if, do you reckon you're right to crawl out? Um, yeah, I think I should be able to get out of here, alright? Yeah. Oh, scrape down on my back. You are right. Yeah. Oh, man, what's going on here? You don't hurt, you don't hurt yourself, have you? Nah, nah, I'm alright, I got out there fine. Right. Let's take a little look around this then. Well... Has this just happened, or...? It's safe to say, unless we've been sleeping in it for a while. It's just, like, collapsed in on us. Blimey. That could have well, been quite dangerous. I think we're going to have to have a change of plans for today, then. Yeah, probably need to scrap this whole idea of trying to prop bits of woods together and try and make something a bit, a bit more substantial here, don't you reckon? Yeah, definitely. This is a well, state. We've still got quite a bit of timber in the old storehouse. Um, what do you reckon we ought to just take this? I don't think we're going to be able to modify this. I don't no. trust it anymore, to be no, honest. Nah, we'll just start from scratch, I think, and build somewhere that's going to be a bit more long-lasting than what we've had so far. So what do you reckon, just clear this up and start anew then? Yeah, just, we'll just move it all out of the way, trash it down on the beach and and start again, I think. Because that, that's, that's no good to us now. So yeah, that was an interesting start to the morning, this. <laughs> jump straight in and start clearing this away, I think. Right, you start grabbing the leaves, I'll grab yeah. the, the sail. Okay. Oh. So there we go. Nice area flattened out, ready for us to start building. Hmm. We've got the uh, the remnants of what we used to live in, sort of just strewn across the beach. Just chucked it all down there for now, we can clear it up <laughs> later. <laughs> Might even need some of it for this, so... Yep, um, so yeah, we just used some of the resources that we had in the storehouse, kind of used, chopped it up real nice, got some um, beams to make this new lodge of ours, I did exactly. If I just pick these up, we'll start laying out a kind of floor size that we're going to have. Um, and then we'll kind of start building upwards from there. I've got an idea in mind for how to, how we can do this. So if you just kind of like follow my lead, we'll get started with the building. So if I reckon if we have the front about there, mm -hmm. yeah, and then yeah, that's great for the back down there. And then what we can do is to get our height, we can put the next side beams on resting across on top of these. And then we just kind of work up upwards from there, really. Let me pick these up and get these ones out of your way. Well, thanks very much. Got a feeling at this rate we are going to be using a lot of that, so I think these trees are getting quite in our way as well. So I think quite we might close. Have to think about chopping these down. Well, I see what you've done. You've kind of laid that on top. What about the gaps? Surely that's going to leave gaps in between. It will, but what we can do is we can... We've got the water next to us, we've got some dirt around, we can use the old technique of making mud huts, but we're just using <laughs> to, to paste in the walls. Or if we've got enough resources spare, we can just get some planks and nail them to... Edge them in. How civilised of us. It's all down to practice. Practicality first. Aesthetics later. Indeed. So, there we go, you got the idea of the design? Yeah, I think... And then we can we'll build up from there and then put the roof on at the end, I think. Yep, that sounds good. Alright, if you could just hold this side. Yep, yep. I've got it. There we go. Brilliant. Lovely. There's our door frame done. Lovely. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do for a door yet. We didn't happen to have any hinges on the boat, did we? No, we kind of stumbled across that idea that we're not quite sure what we're going to do. Um, but I'm sure we'll bodge something together to keep keep all the old wind coming in. Yeah, which 
Mm, brings us to how we're going to stop the wind coming through these gaps. Yeah, no good having a door if you can't stop it coming through the walls. Um, I guess we've got a few options. Uh, we could use dirt. Probably not wise. Um, if we can get something that's smoother, that'd be good. I mean, dirt's quite a rough material mm. anyway. It wouldn't give a very good finish. Might be hard to compact it all as well. It could just crumble. Yes, definitely. <sighs> what about um, clay? We're right by a river, right by the sea. There's bound to be plenty of clay on the riverbed. Do you reckon there'd be clay? I yeah, reckon. There's bound to be. Some. There's bound to be. I can go on a hunt and try and get some clay. Uh, if you want to do that, then I can start thinking about how we're going to bring the roof onto this. Yeah, that's fine. You're mm. right. Starting to work on that then, and I'll go hunting for some clay for our walls. Yep, I'll, yeah? I'll start doing this then. Okay, alright. Won't be long. Right, do you reckon that'll fit? Yeah, that should be perfect size to go in there. Block that window so off. It hinges the better, but. For the moment, yeah. we can just chuck that in the hole of the window just to keep us sheltered. Mm hmm. With any thoughts of what we're going to do for a door yet? Well, I had a, I had an idea. We've got the we've still got the the sail from the boat down there that mm. we could maybe just use to pin up the door just to stop any sort of wind and rubbish kind of coming in through the night. That'll because it's quite warm here on this island, surprisingly. So shouldn't be having to worry about getting too cold. Mm -hmm. And then we can use the rest of it. Well insulated anyway with the clay. Yeah, the clay's molded quite nicely into there. There's no gaps apart from the ones that we've intended to have. So <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, what and we've got left we of the sail, any, uh, we can make beds sail left over as well. We can use them for like sheets. Yeah, yeah, we can cobble together a couple of small beds. Maybe like a hammock. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll have a fiddle with that and see what we can come up with. Right. So that's um, the house done. That's that'll awesome. keep us going. So for the rest of the time today, we're a little bit low on resources. And we um, used up most of that on the house. <laughs> yeah, so we had to chop down a tree over here. We've got a few bits here. Um, but I think we ought to fix the, the roof of the storehouse in case it has the same fate as our yeah, tent. it's not strong at all, is it? That's just going to fall down eventually. Even with the supports? Yeah. So I'll probably just spend the rest of the day taking these planks and hauling them up onto the roof and getting that nice and watertight. Mm -hmm. And then we can start maybe putting some shelves and things in later on and making this into a proper sort of storage space. Instead of just a shell. Indeed. So nice. that's about it then, really, isn't it? I'll, I'll start clearing off this roof of leaves and if I'll you want to start hoisting those up then yeah phew that's been a been a hard tremendous day's work isn't it yep got a lot done today it's been productive very good indeed mm. just sat here by our fire roasting a piggy <laughs> don't you get attached to it if you keep giving it a name you got to eat this soon yeah that's our dinner before bed um, yeah, so as you can see, we've kind of made a bit of an improvement on, on the storehouse. I think we've pretty much spent up regarding resources now, aren't we? We need to get some more soon. Yeah, we'll have to go out and go chopping down some more trees ready for whatever we're going to build in the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. But uh, at least that's going to be, it's, it's still like not the prettiest thing, but at least it's waterproof. Well, yeah. more waterproof than it was. Better than having some leaves on the roof, eh? Exactly. Um, and we've put the sail to good use as well. Yeah, as we've cut it up we've... into three, haven't we? Yeah, we haven't got a door yet, so we've kind of got what would you what would you call that? It's like a <laughs> a cover, a cover, for a door right hole cover, the side of our house. Um, yeah, so we can pull that to when it's time to go we to sleep. Do, yeah, just drop it down to keep everything out. And we've also, Adam's got to make in these camp beds. Quite a craftsman. What a craftsman. <laughs> um, Be a bit more comfortable than sleeping on the dirty old floor anyway. Exactly. We need to remember to put this slot in the window as well. 
Yes, before bed. In case it gets cold. So you don't get bears reaching through mauling you at night. <laughs> I want bears in these woods, that'd be worrying, wouldn't it? Oh, we don't know what's out there yet. We haven't been out. So, um... Yeah, we need to get this cleared up at some point. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess we've made of the beach here. Um, it's kind of lucky we had this pig, really, because the next thing we need to concentrate on the next couple of days is maybe food. Do you think we ought to... You know, I think I saw some shoals of fishes when uh, we were sailing this way, so I don't know whether we should make a pier and go fishing, or maybe search for some somewhere to put some seed, like plant some crops. What do you think? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, I think we should ponder on it tonight and mm. decide tomorrow what we're going to do. That sounds good. So, once this is cooked, we'll get some tea and then head in, I think. Could do with a nice, nice bit of meat after our few days of apples that we've had. Yeah. <laughs> Be a nice change.